the next problem is on the screen uh, this problem is from gate 2006 i am reading the problem uh, solvent c is used to extract solvent b solute b i'm sorry solvent c is used to extract solute b selectively from 100 kg per hour of feed mixture of a plus b in a steady state continuous process shown below fine the solubility of c in the refinite and the solubility of a in the extract are negligible this line is important we'll talk about this the extract is distilled to recover b in the bottom product the overhead product is recycled to the extractor right the loss of solvent in the bottoms is compensated by makeup solvent sd the total flow rate of the solvent stream s going to the extractor is 50 kg per hour the mass fraction xi now please note they are using capital x which i have told you is a standard notation for ratio but they are calling it fraction so this is fraction right question mein jo likha hai, that is of topmost priority so the mass fraction xi right of some selected streams are indicated in the figure below that is the question the figure is given so please note down the question first and then you can try to <coughs> draw this figure okay so i'm drawing the figure here as well this is extractor this is very good question and uh, uh, this is going to explain you again the importance of degree of freedom concept feed which contains a plus b the feed has 100 kg per hour of a that is 100 kg per hour uh, which contains uh, they are using some symbols here right xfa It is given in the problem that XFA is equal to 0 0.6. Fine. XFA is equal to 0 0.6. The stream coming out from the extractor, refinite, and we are calling it stream R, which has XRA is equal to 1. Fine. Okay, then the stream leaving from this, this is the extractor. This is called the stream E, right, which goes to the distillation column. Now from the distillation column, one stream is coming out at the bottom, which is called W, which has XWB is equal to 0 0.8. And the stream which is leaving from the column, let's call it the stream T, the top of the uh, distillation column, which is recycled back to the extractor and the makeup solvent they are saying that solvent C solvent C and the name of this stream is SD and it is given that X SD C is equal to 1 right this is the extractor these are the data given this flow rate is also given that this is equal to 50 kg per hour and it is written that X S A is equal to 0 so I hope this much of data okay the hope the data is clear and this much of data is only given in the problem fine <coughs> so I hope you have noted down the problem you have noted down the figure okay now there are two questions these kind of questions are called linked answer questions there are two questions from this paragraph so one by one we are going to solve it but before solving the problem let us analyze it again by using the degree of freedom analysis of the problem is very very important that is going to teach you the concept you are going to learn the concept from analysis not just by solving the problem gate me to ek ek particular value puchi hai that value you can find within minutes not even a single minute you are going to take but if you are just finding that value and then leaving the problem jumping to the next problem then you're not going to learn the concepts so concept agar seekhna hai to problem ko deeply analyze karna zaruri hai ki isme aur kya ho sakta hai right aise kyun kiya waise kyun nahi kiya to ye cheeze jab tak aap apne aap se nahi puchoge tab tak aap subject nahi seekh sakte right let's talk about that so first of all how many system you see here first one is extractor 
distillation column fine what else <coughs> mixing point there are other cases as well i'm not counting those and overall ओके दीज आर द फोर सिस्टम्स तो क्वेश्चन तो जो भी है क्वेश्चन पे भी आएंगे किसे क्या क्वेश्चन पूछा है उसके बारे में बात करेंगे लेकिन पहले एनालिसिस करते हैं डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम एनालिसिस करते हैं जो हर प्रॉब्लम में मैं कर रहा हूं एक्सट्रैक्टर की बात करते हैं काउंट द नंबर ऑफ अन फ्लोरेट इज नोन दो कॉम्पोजिट दो कॉम्पोनेंट है इसमें एक की कॉम्पोजिशन पता है दूसरे की भी पता है पॉइंट है तो बी की कॉम्पोजिशन क्या होगी पॉइंट सो दिस स्ट्रीम इज नोन कंप्लीटली दिस स्ट्रीम प्योर ए बिकॉज एक्स आर एज इक्वल टू वन बट द फ्लोरेट इज नॉट नोन सो वन अन नोन ओके दिस स्ट्रीम फ्लोरेट इज नोन कॉम्पोजिशन ओके बिफोर कमिंग टू दिस ओके वन मोर थिंग लेट मी एक्सप्लेन वन मोर थिंग एंड वट इज दैट लेट मी आस्क यू दैट हाउ मेनी कॉम्पोनेंट आर प्रेजेंट इन ईच एंड एवरी स्ट्रीम दिस विल मेक इट इजियर फॉर यू टू डू द डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम एनालिसिस हर स्ट्रीम में कितने कितने कौन कौन से कॉम्पोनेंट एक बार ये पता कर लेते हैं सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस in this case in this one how many components are there it is given in the problem a and b are there fine here only a what about this it is not given in the problem tell me how many components and which components are present in the stream b and c now how you can conclude that b and c are present it is given in the problem that a it is given read the problem that the solubility of c in the refinate and the solubility of a in the extract are negligible there is no a in the extract so what should be there in the extract b and c and in a distillation column if b and c are entering then at the bottom as well there should be b and c at the top as well there should be b and c fine now b and c are going from here c is coming from here so what should be here b and c fine this is the one small analysis now let's talk about the degree of freedom so uh, for the extractor we were counting the unknowns fine one unknown is r r is not known to you i am writing here because there are a number of unknowns we have to remember e the fluorate of this stream is it known to you no now this stream contains two components b and c none of the composition is known so how many unknowns i should count fluorate is not known i counted that out of that the composition uh, apart from that the composition of b or the composition of c should be known so let us uh, say that we don't know the composition x e b means the composition of b in the stream e this is not known so how many are known third unknown is there any is there any uh, anything else okay we, we can talk about this stream s is 50 composition of b or c none of them is known they are giving that there is no a that is not going to help us right there is no b there is no c Uh, the composition of b is not given the composition of c is not given so one more x s b is not known if you know b you can know c okay everything i think i have uh, counted all the unknowns so how many uh, unknowns you are getting a uh, four unknowns right s is given one unknown from here e is not known the one two three and four fine so four unknowns how many equations you can write for the extractor how many streams are crossing the system boundary a b b c so how many type of different type of species right how, uh, what are the type of species crossing the system only 3 so 4 minus 3 what is the degree of freedom 1 you cannot start writing the balance with the extractor let's talk about the distillation column fine e is not known x e b is not known fine no, neither the stream nor the composition nothing is known W is not known. X W B is known, so X W C is also known. Fine. T T is not known. In T, what is the composition of B? Is not known. How many unknowns you see here? Five. How many equation you can write for the distillation column? How many species? One, two, one, two, one, two, two species. So how many balance equation? Five minus two. What is the degree of freedom? Three. So you cannot start with the distillation column. Let's talk about the mixing point. See how easily you can analyze this problem. Mixing point. How many uh, unknowns are there? SD is not known. One unknown is SD. This has pure C, so composition is known. This stream. What is not known? Ah, uh, we already wrote it here. XSB. So XSB is not known. What else? 
t is not known what else x t b is not known fine so how many unknowns for how many equation you can write for the mixing point how many species are crossing the system boundary b and c only two species so 4 minus 2 what is the answer 2 so you cannot start with the mixing point see how easily now talk about the overall system overall i'm writing here please see carefully count all the variables carefully for the overall system so for the overall system <coughs> this stream is known <laughs> completely in this case sd is unknown this is not under the overall see this stream should not be counted as no unknown because it is leaving the column then coming back it is not crossing the overall system boundary so should not be counted as unknown what else oh yeah for r r is not known r is the variable for overall system w is not known how many unknowns you see here three how many equation you can write for the overall system see how many species are crossing the system boundary three species a b and c so how many equation three what is the degree of freedom sir it means that for solving this problem you have to start with the overall system right so please note it down and now you can see the first question from the paragraph the first question says that the distillate bottom fluorate w and solvent dosing sd in kg per hour are and you have four options as well fine so what you have to find pehle to maine aapko analysis bata diya pata kya karna hai ek to w aur ek to sd ab yahan dhyan se dekho sd and w are the unknowns for overall system so it means that you have to write balance on the overall system even uh, we also know this that the for uh, overall system the degree of freedom is equal to zero so there is no other option okay so let's write the balance for the overall system we'll write down here only we will write the balance for overall system so how many equation you can write for the overall system three equation <coughs> for the overall system let's write three equation i'm writing the balance on a a in is equal to a out what is a entering from here no a what is a entering from here 100 into 0 0.6 that is 60 a in what is a present here is equal to r because it is completely a what is a present here no a only b and c are there so what is the value r is equal to 60 fine <coughs> i'm sorry let's write the total mass balance so total balance is sd i don't know plus f f is 100 fine what is this total so means it is 60 plus w one more equation fine sd is not known w is not known let's write b balance this is total balance please uh, write down total mass b balance what is b present here zero what is b present here 40 what is b present here zero what is b present there 0 0.8 w right so if you solve this that 40 divided by 0 0.8 the answer should be <coughs> 40 divided by 0 0.8 it is 50 fine so from here you are going to get that w is equal to 50 once it is 50 60 plus 50 becomes 110 sd is equal to 10 that is your answer fine so you wrote the balance on the overall system there were three unknowns and the degree of freedom was equal to zero you found all the unknowns r um, w and sd now what is the next question you see the next question again from the same paragraph that the feed rate e to the distillation column and overhead product t now you have to find the value of e and t so see this you can easily find what is the value of e and t uh, we know w right w was equal to 50 we know w okay now to find the value of t you must need e now how to find e write the balance on the extractor i think this is very obvious that as the feed is known what is feed 100 s is known plus 50 r is known 60 plus e so what is e? e is equal to 90 and we know that when after that you can write the balance on the column that distillation column you can write the balance right so distillation E is entering that is becomes 90 90 is equal to t plus w so t plus 50 and therefore t is equal to 40 see how easily you can find that is the answer for second question this was the problem in gate 2006 now see how you can analyze this problem by using the degree of freedom analysis that from where you have to start because what happens case problem up solve sometimes you can solve 
समटाइम्स वॉट हैपन्स की प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व नहीं हुई आपने क्या किया आपने सोल्यूशन देख लिया ना सोल्यूशन देख के आपने कहा कि ठीक है ये ऐसे 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 और ऐसे हो जाएगा ठीक है दैट इज फाइन आपको समझ भी आ गया समझने में कोई दिक्कत नहीं बट आफ्टर सम टाइम इफ यू स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम अगेन आफ्टर वन मंथ आप देखोगे कि फिर से आप भूल गए कि कैसे सॉल्व किया था राइट बट दैट इज आई एम सेंग देखो सोल्यूशन कभी नहीं देखना सोल्यूशन देखना आपको हमेशा नुकसान देगा ऑलवेज इट विल बी हार्मफुल फॉर यू to find the solutions in books or on different different websites or whatever wherever you find solution nahi dekho solution dekhna aapke liye faydemand bilkul nahi hai <coughs> i have given you some concepts use those concepts and make use of those concepts every time in a different different way doesn't matter right now you have time a lot of time you have इस टाइम को इस क्वेश्चंस को आप इस क्वेश्चन की पूरी पूरा सर्जरी कर डालो इसकी पूरा चीड़फाड़ कर डालो जैसे करना है वैसे सॉल्व करके देखो इफ यू आर नॉट गेटिंग आंसर दैट इज गुड बट यू शुड नो व्हाई यू आर नॉट गेटिंग आंसर यू हैव यू ट्राई टू सॉल्व अ पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम इन इन अ डिफरेंट वे एंड यू आर नॉट गेटिंग आंसर दैट्स फाइन बट यू शुड नो देन वाई यू आर नॉट गेटिंग आंसर लाइक दिस यू हैव टू एनालाइज द प्रॉब्लम क्योंकि जो आप कॉन्सेप्ट सीखोगे वो कॉन्सेप्ट आपको याद रहेगा इवन आफ्टर टू और थ्री मंथ्स इफ यू आर स्टार्टिंग टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम अगेन यू विल अप्रोच द प्रॉब्लम इन अ न्यू डिफरेंट वे बट यूजिंग द सेम कॉन्सेप्ट राइट तो प्रॉब्लम्स को याद नहीं करना इस प्रॉब्लम के साथ कई बार ऐसा होता है बच्चे भूल जाते हैं कि सर पिछली बार आ गया था इस बार नहीं आ रहा बिकॉज यू आर ट्राइंग टू रिमेंबर हाउ यू हैव सोल्व द प्रॉब्लम लास्ट टाइम वो याद नहीं करना है बट इफ यू रिमेंबर द डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम तो आपको पता है कि यार बड़ी सी प्रॉब्लम आगे करना क्या है कुछ नहीं डिग्री फ्रीडम एनालिसिस करना है देखो कहां से स्टार्ट हो रहा है और देखो जहां भी डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम जीरो आएगी आप स्टार्ट कर दो प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करना आंसर अपने आप आ जाएगा ये मत देखो कि डब्ल्यू निकालना है कि एस निकालना है आप बैलेंस लगा दो ना आंसर अपने आप आ जाएगा दैट इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम राइट सो आई होप दिस क्वेश्चन इज अगेन क्लियर टू यू फाइन एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन द डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम एनालिसिस हैज बिकम मोर क्लियर सो दिस वाज वन मोर प्रॉब्लम फॉर मल्टीपल यूनिट सिस्टम हाउ एवर वन थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू पॉइंट आउट हियर दैट इन दिस सिस्टम देर इज अ स्ट्रीम व्हिच इज लीविंग द डिस्लेशन कॉलम एंड देन कमिंग बैक इनटू द सिस्टम दिस काइंड ऑफ सिस्टम इज कॉल्ड अ रीसाइकल स्ट्रीम सो आई हैव टेकन दिस एग्जांपल इन दिस एग्जांपल देयर इज अ रीसाइकल स्ट्रीम बट सो फार आई हैव नॉट डिस्कस्ड द रीसाइकल स्ट्रीम्स fine but there was no use of the recycle uh, calculation here that is why i took this example so uh, in the upcoming lecture i'm going to discuss the recycle and bypassing in the multiple unit systems okay